this is uh, on the scale of you know a biologist sitting around a campfire with other biologists saying, well, if you had a grizzly bear and a and a mountain lion in a fight, who would win? Well, it's not going to happen. They target other stuff, you know, for them to get together when there's other food around that either of them could take. You know, it's it's ridiculous. The two animals aren't going to risk the damage. Well, it's kind of that way with the orcas and the white sharks. Um, why would an orca go after a white shark when there's plenty of other food around that doesn't have the you know the damage risk associated with it? Uh, we were going out to do a, a whale watching trip. We were on our way towards the islands. The orcas killed and ate a uh, California sea lion, but looked over and sure enough, there was a white shark that came up on what was left of this carcass that the, uh, that the orcas had killed. And right about that time, the larger of the two orcas made a beeline that direction. And then there was nothing. And then there was a splash over in that area. And then there was nothing. And a couple of minutes later, the orca came up to the boat right up next to the boat with this now dead white shark in its mouth, holding it up. And uh, it was holding it up, you know, I like to say like a, like a cat with a mouse, you know, bragging, showing you what it could do. Look what I got for you kind of thing. It held it up and then it dropped it. And the orcas went back to swimming around. The shark carcass sunk. The, or uh, the orca would go back down, pick up the shark carcass, brought it up, showed it to us again. And this is all right next to the boat, you know, as I recall, eight to 10 feet away, perhaps even a little closer. Uh, and, and it did that for maybe 20 minutes. Now, what was really going on? Why did the orca go after this white shark? Uh, did it want the shark as food or was it was it protecting its carcass? The orca had killed this sea lion and the carcass was there. The shark came up to the carcass and then the orca went over and got it. So uh, was it perhaps just protecting its food? 